Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to use the Figma pen tool and master it as fast as possible. The shortcuts I'm going to use will be shown in the left bottom of the screen. Anything I'm touching is showing right now. And let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the F for creating a frame shortcut. And I am going to press P, which is actually shortcut for creating and using a pen tool. So. I am just going to now click and how, how Figma pen tool works is you basically click around and it drags it for you so I'm just tapping here I'm just moving with my mouse here and what I want to do is connect it so that it becomes a shape so once I connect it I can press enter and now I have a shape I can work with and I can fill this shape so I can actually fill it and I can remove the let's say stroke here and another thing I can do if I want to edit the shape I can edit particular nodes so if I double click again it goes to its pen mode and I can stretch move all of these and I can even add border radius to each individual node so I can add 8 and you can see how it got affected but the others did not this gives you a lot of flexibility when you are going to create particular illustrations or even icons which we will do in this video now the second thing i want to show is the bezier curve meaning instead of using border radius we can instead of making our paths let's say and let me just delete this Instead of making our path straight like this, once I am done by creating a shape, what I can do is I can go through each node and I can hold command in Macbook and if I press again, you see how it is now curved. And what now I can do is I can increase the basic the arc of this curve by decreasing it by getting it closer or increasing it. You can see it has two directions and you can pick the option you want if you pick mirror and angle land option here if you stretch one side the other side will follow so this is how less of a arc it has and if i stretch it more it will have more arc but if i only pick mirror angle if i decrease one it will mirror the angle in the other one but it won't decrease it so this lets you create uneven arcs from left and right side as well and this giving it basically an arc comes especially useful when you are working on much more circular shapes like here in these edges or etc. Now let's move on to an actual example where we will apply what we learned. I am gonna press the P to open our pen tool and I'm gonna try to copy and create this camera icon again. So I'm gonna press P and I'm gonna basically try to imitate the initial version. So it's a rectangle but in the middle it goes up here it comes here and it comes down again it comes here and then we will connect here and boom okay so now that i'm done with this i am going to actually do the details polish a bit so one of the things i want to do is i want to measure the distance between each of these that is 6.5 that is 5.5 and i want to see basically maybe so i want this to be one pixel sorry one pixel less so now it is also 6.5 that's pretty good and i want to move this a bit here there as well that's good and now what i want to do is to see check if the angle is the same that's two and a half and two and a half this is one and a half two and a half so this should be actually 38 so now they are actually simple and they are the same and they might even need that is 53.5 same height they might even need one so i to double select i just go over my mass select and i want these to be maybe 50 and that's a bit better and yeah so 50 is pretty good and then what i want to do is I want to go through each section here and I want to see how they would look if I curve them. That's a lot of curve. So what you might want to do is instead use your border radius property. I'm selecting the four of them by holding shift and I'm going to give let's say two and that is good. So two works fairly well and then what I'm going to do is 
I can see in the insides it has kind of curves here so what that tells me is maybe we can do this so this actually lets you add caps to the insides here you do the join and you pick the rightmost here and that looks pretty good and then for the top here in the outside we have a slight border radius here so I'm just gonna do C1 and one is a bit too much maybe 0.5 and that does look better and that kind of looks okay not exactly the same to create the circle I'm just gonna press O I'm gonna do shift X to switch from same and I'm gonna maybe make this I think one is good I'm gonna match the color and I'm gonna center it here yeah, around here works I want to see the distance here is it's closer to the bottom so maybe one two yeah maybe one up for ourselves because the top for us is a bit more and that might cut it yeah and it's even larger I think it's almost 10 or 9 but I will center it I think it's around here let's see 7 6 so 31.5 is actually center and maybe 55.5 and I like how that looks yeah now this is a very fast copy the there are some parts that doesn't work the margins here has to actually be much more let's say 39 point sorry uh, 41.5 and even more maybe maybe 41 and this one has to be 3 as well so maybe 31 etc but this looks so far pretty good and we have used most of the things that we learned and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial